And now Pixel Call Assist gets even better with call notes, which follows up on your phone calls with a completely private summary of the conversation. So when you're on a call and you don't have a pen and paper handy, you still have easy access to phone numbers, times, details, and any other info you don't want to forget. Here's an example. I'm thinking of switching up my hair and going with a broccoli cut. It's trendy, I know, <laughs> but I think I could pull it off. Now, my barber can't. <laughs> so he referred me to a new barber shop, and the problem is I forgot to jot down the number. Thankfully, I have call notes. Let me show you how this works. I can easily locate the phone number to make an appointment. And if I need to, I can also review the full transcript of the original call. Like, how much did that cut cost? Call notes is completely private, and it runs entirely on device. So your phone calls and summaries are never sent to the cloud. It's easy to activate it, which notifies everyone on the call. And then your pixel will start transcribing and summarizing. Couldn't be easier, and you're in control of how and when you use it. Here's a scenario we're all familiar with. You come across something on your phone you want to remember. So maybe you make a mental note, or maybe you grab a screenshot. But more often than not, you forget the thing you wanted to remember, or you can't quickly find what you need when you need it. The new Pixel screenshots can help with that. It's an app for Pixel 9 that helps you save, organize, and recall anything you need. Pixel Screenshots is like your own visual library of everything you want to remember. Items in a recipe, Wi-Fi or door codes, restaurant recommendations, or anything else. Okay, so if you're like me, you're always coming across cool stuff online that would make great gifts. But then when it comes time to buy the gift, I can't remember the ideas or where I saw them. Like, I just got this text from my fiance, Christine. She's really excited about Kiki Palmer's new book. So I'll just click the link. And instead of leaving this tab open till the end of time, why don't I screenshot it? Pixel Screenshots analyzes the content of the image and makes it searchable. And it's all running privately on device, thanks to Gemini Nano and Tensor G4. Let's see, I'll quickly add this to my collection of gift ideas and make a note that Christine likes this. And if I wanna look through all the other gift ideas I've saved, I can open up the Pixel Screenshots app and I'll just navigate to that collection. Here, I can see Kiki's book along with lots of other great gift ideas I've saved. Every Pixel 9 phone ships with the new Pixel Studio, a first of its kind image generator. It's powered by an on-device diffusion model running on Tensor G4 and our Imagine 3 text-to-image model in the cloud. So you can just type whatever you want to create. Perfect example, a funky party invite. Our coworker, Tejas, he's moving back to San Francisco and finally getting his own place. Nothing says welcome back to California like a party at the fire pits at Ocean Beach. Watch how easy it is to whip up an invite. I'll make one live right now. So I'll just tap create, and I'll start with a simple prompt. Let's go with a beach bonfire pit at sunset. And we've made Pixel Studio fast. There's not much waiting here, as you can see. Okay, now that looks pretty good. Let's make it quintessential San Francisco. Why don't we add in the Golden Gate Bridge? So let's see what Pixel Studio comes up with. Nice. I do want this to feel like a party. And Pixel Studio lets me get creative. So why don't we add some fireworks in the sky? See what that looks like. Really nice. I do want this to feel more like an invite, though, instead of a photo. If I tap the Style button, I can quickly change how the image looks. Why don't we try a cartoon? And it'll take just a moment, just like changing your prompt would. OK, changing your style, as you can see, it's quick, it's easy, and honestly, it's pretty fun. In this case, though, it's not what I'm going for. So why don't we try another style, like a retro video game, and see what that looks like. OK, really cool. And if I want to change the composition, I don't need to change my prompt. I can just hit the refresh button to get a new image. 
<laughs> nice, that looks so good. Okay, now in Pixel Studio, you can also create stickers from your images. And I already have a few of Tejas, so I'll just throw them right in there. <laughs> there we go, I think a giant Tejas head that looks like a firework, kind of hilarious. Uh, I got a few more, why don't we throw in a Tejas near the bonfire? But he looks a little lonely at his own party. No worries, I have a second Tejas I can throw in right next to him to keep him company. Fantastic. The only thing missing are the party details. So I can quickly add a caption that says, Ocean Beach, Friday, let's go with 7 p.m. Ah, that font feels a bit out of place, so we can easily change it. Why don't we go take a look? I think this one looks retro and it'll match the vibes pretty well. Nice, cool. Now, it took me just a moment to create the perfect invite. I'll just copy and paste it into that group chat I've got with all of our friends and send it. Oh, and by the way, with RCS coming to the iPhone, all my friends will get the same high quality image, no matter what phone they're using. <laughs>